Alright everybody, we're back with uh, Minecraft for the Xbox, and I actually have some goals set up for this video, because in the last video we finally found this jungle temple. As you can see, we've done quite a bit of terramorphing. We've actually reduced all of the moss stone to nothing. We've, we've gotten all the moss stone, but if you look closely, we don't have any cobble. <laughs> we're completely out of cobblestone, that's why there's no roof. So, that's what we're going to be doing in this video, but there's a couple other goals. We, um... We're going to be boxing in the villagers over there at the village, just so that they don't die. We're probably going to do that before we go and get a bunch of cobble. We're going to get two mushrooms from the mushroom biome over here, because it's so close. We could just cart them over. Uh, so we'll have to make a small wheat farm for that, because we don't have any wheat at all. I made it all into bread. And then we're going to explore the rest of the map to the right, just to the right of us. Not in the top right-hand corner, just to the right over there. So let's quickly go do that stuff. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna start by getting just a little bit of cobblestone, or maybe some dirt even. Do I have any dirt with me? I probably do. Probably got some dirt at least. Maybe even gravel, I don't really care. It's just gotta be a building block that I can throw down there. I, I don't really care what it is. I just gotta protect those villagers. Hey, look at that! There's a mushroom right here. There's a giant mushroom too, so that means that one block has to be mycelium. Huh, that's pretty cool. But it's not mycelium anymore, because... The mushroom made it a non-mycelium block, but still, it was before that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> cool, world, world, cool, cool world generation. That's what I love about Minecraft. Is the, the world generations are sometimes pretty good. They're uh, sometimes I don't like them, but sometimes they're pretty good actually. Uh, first, we're gonna quickly come down over here, and we're gonna block in the apothecary if we have one. If we don't have an apothecary, we're going to have to lock in the librarian, because he's got some good trades as well. And it actually appears that the librarian has done that for us. Uh, yep, okay. All we have to do then is uh, put some dirt there, because gravel would just fall. And we'll have a locked-in librarian. Okay. Let's try to find the block we can... There we go. There we go, we locked in the... We locked in the librarian. Oh, yeah. Just that cool. Alright, make sure that he doesn't come over here. No! Peter. Alright. Um, I don't even know if that's the right block, but whatever. There. I can just come over here, throw that down, grab these bookshelves actually, we need books. Well, yeah, I got an axe, what am I doing? Hey, how do you get rid of all the wood in these books, shelves? We're gonna place a couple torches in here as well. I don't really think that zombies can spawn in here, but I want to be careful because he is the only librarian uh, that we have in this world, so I just want to keep him alive as much as possible, or because I don't want him to die because in a future update, he's going to have great some great trades, actually, quite a few. We're going to need a, a breeding partner for that librarian. Um, oh, we got another librarian. Look at that. Uh, he offers an emerald for paper. See, th those are the kind of trades that I love, you know? If you can get an emerald out of a librarian for some paper, some lousy paper, then why wouldn't he be a good trade like that? Hey, look, that's why we have a second librarian. We actually have a second librarian's little outpost. That's pretty cool. We have two in one village, but we don't have a blacksmith, which kind of sucks, but I, I, honestly, I'd take this over the blacksmith only because books are so hard to come by nowadays. Wait, why am I blocking that up? Uh, as you can see, I also made a little bit of tools. We made a hoe, uh, not a hoe, we have made everything but a hoe. Um, we're actually not going to have to start a wheat farm because now we do have wheat. I didn't think about that at all. I didn't think about the going to the village at all and get the wheat. Um, so that takes off one bit of our list. We don't have to make a little farm now, which is pretty good. Uh, I would prefer to make one later. Not right now, now, because it, now, now. I don't, have to get, I, have to do, I don't have to do it right now, but I'll do it some other time. Probably when I start actually expanding my house. And by expanding, I mean actually start finding diamonds and making a mine shaft and all of that stuff. So, and actually, I don't want the librarian to die, but what I could do is I could at least torch up his house. <laughs> You know, of course the zombies can just break the door, but... Oops. Did not mean to do that. Alright. 
Of course, the zombies can break his door open, but now they won't spawn inside. So, if he is in a chunk that isn't loaded, then the zombies can't actually get to him because you have to get the villagers have to be in a loaded chunk for a zombie invasion to happen. And if a zombie invasion happens and this particular chunk is not loaded, the door is not loaded, then he can't, the zombies can't actually kill the villager. And in fact, I'm gonna actually make it zombie proof and make it go down a level because now it's zombie proof. Can't get, no zombie can jump but hit the top of the door and break it in one hit. So. Uh, did we get a, a, a partner, a breeding partner for him? Yes, we did. I didn't light up his house, though, so I'm probably going to do that real quick. Grab some carrots and some of this. Uh, as you can see, since these are growing, that means these are loaded chunks from where my house is. So any villager outside right now is probably going to die. Just a forewarning to me that they're all probably going to die, especially since it's already turning night, because it goes night really quick for some reason. Like I said, I was playing TU3 in the last episode. I said I was playing TU3. And, um, yeah, in TU3, the daytime was, like, crazy. I was able to to find diamonds in the time it turned day or night. That's crazy. Uh, why are they so short now? It's like, they, they really want you to go to sleep at night instead of actually staying up until the end of the nighttime. Because... I think that's, that may be a hard, you know, my difficulty is on hard, so I believe that could have some effect on it. Maybe not a lot, but it definitely probably has some effect. Alright, let's get some more wheat. Ah! Ow! 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 Okay. My hand, like, curved, and it got, like, chafed by the wire of my headphones, because it's, like, right on my hand for some reason, and... It, like, found a piece of hair and grabbed it from my hand. Like, the one hair I have on my hand, it found and it grabbed at, pretty much. That's pretty much all that just went down there. All that conspired in that moment of time. I think I'm going to have more wheat farms than anything else. Eh. No, I'll probably have more carrots and potatoes and all of that kind of farm. Because I kind of like the... I, I like carrots and potatoes. They really heal you up a lot. Carrots are good for cows, and or pigs, and um, potatoes are great for baked potatoes, which give you a ton of life, or health, like KFCs, chicken, Kentucky Fried Chickens, they give you a ton of them for some reason, like three, I think, that's crazy, the, of course the saturation now is going to, to really nerf those, but uh, albeit, it's still a pretty good thing, still amazing. Oh, did the librarian? Oh! We'll put you, uh, give you a torch, guys. We'll lock you up in there. Good going, you saved yourself. How about in here? Oh my god, there's three in there. Let's, let's lock them in there. Holy crap. We got lucky. Good thing it turned nighttime. <laughs> Is that another zombie villager over there? No, it's just a normal zombie. Alright. We're gonna go back to the house now and. Uh, that is one of the actual goals I wanted to get done for this episode. That's one of them done. Let's go all the way back to the house now. And we're going to start a little strip mining <coughs> operation. And I'm going to actually time lapse it when I start it. I don't know where I'm going to start it exactly. But all I know is that I'm going to start it. I'll probably go to sleep and then come back and start it right at, at that. And, uh... Hey look, there's a mycelium. It happens to be spreading to the dirt that's around here. That's why. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my god, look at all the mobs outside my house. There's probably some inside my house as well. And actually spiders can get to me. But just spiders. Ah. Yes. Okay. Well, they still can get to me, but for some reason... How is that not... How do they not... How did that not count it as, like, they were too close? Uh, that's weird. Oh, well, I'm not complaining. I'm accepting it. Uh, I'm gonna throw... Oh, never mind. I thought I had something to throw in there, but I guess I don't. Let's organize our chests again. Uh, it's kind of loud, zombie. Please calm down there, sir. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Come over here. Where was that creeper? Where did that creeper go? There was just a creeper over here. Where did it go? What the heck? What the Jemima Jumble Waffle Eater? Where the freak? I think pulled a Houdini on me. <laughs> oh well. We'll just kill a spider instead. A consolation prize. A consolation. See, those little, like, quick little changes that the drops do, it's so annoying. Alright, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the strip mine, but I'm gonna organize my, uh, self a little bit out. Uh, self out a little bit. So we'll get our, our stone stairs there. We will put our, uh, that's where diamonds are gonna go, so we'll put sand there, white wool. We don't really need it, but we'll keep it anyway. Uh, books, we'll put over here, we'll get our carrots and potatoes down in there. Uh, 80, uh, we'll put that there. Put the books up here. Put our string away. And our seeds. And we'll actually even make another chest, in fact. Alright. Uh, spruce wood, we'll make, we'll make a uh, one chest. We'll just put it here, and this will be our uh, uh, food chest. Food and farming. That way I can take out all the farming supplies out of this thing. Yeah, that gives me so much more room. Alright. Uh, da 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 da. We will actually do it this way. This will give us more, uh, space to put the items. We'll organize our chests down like this. Um, two, we'll just put one row of potato and carrots. Spruce sapling, normal sapling, we'll put that there too. Our wheat seeds, put our tripwire hooks away. Uh, look right here, that's good. Put our uh, sand there. White wool above that. Books over here. And there we go. Finally got it organized. Gee whiz. Alright. We're gonna need to make some more torches. Now that we've done all that, we need to make a little bit more torches. We will make uh, 15, no, 14. Oh! Can't believe I just did that. Eh, I'm wasting so much time right now. Alright. We will make our 14. I know how to do this. I know I don't have the ingredients. Now go away, please. Uh, we'll also make another iron pick as well. We'll, we'll stop when both of those run out. Alright. Sounds about good. We'll also throw in some uh, baked potatoes or normal potatoes in there. Do we have any in here? No, we don't have any potatoes in there. We'll uh, grab some more of this coal. We'll grab the rest of this coal right here. We'll just chuck it in the furnace with the potatoes. Alright, finally. Uh, yeah, you could see that I kind of started a basement, but I needed to get more cobble to finish it. But I was thinking of going this way, because we're closer to the end of the world this way. So I was thinking of doing a double strip mine, like a, a base of operations. But I gotta make sure that this is even. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that means I'm gonna have to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh block, if that is correct. And then one, two, three, four. Yep, that's correct. So we'll start it one in. We'll start it like this. And then we'll go down from here. And I'll eventually cover this up, of course. Hey, we need a lot of sand from this as well. That's good. I do need a little bit of sand because I, uh, I work with glass sometimes. And I would like to have some windows in my house. So it's a good thing we got some sand. Uh, let's do the smart. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Torch. Good mining tool. Ah, we got another one of those to do. Thank you, Torch. So useful. Been useful today. Oh, you're welcome! Oh, oh, okay. Well, I didn't know you could speak, but that's cool, too. Ah, look at that. <laughs> more more uh, sandstone. Alright. I like to have mine three up. I mean, I don't know if I'm a weird person for doing that, but I like to have my strip mines, mines quite high. That way I can put stairs. So I'll probably even have to increase this one more up. So let's get under this. 
All right, now that I've started the strip mine, I will be starting a time lapse right here. And that noise has it. Let's go. Alright, as you can see, we just made it down to bedrock, and I came back up here because I wanted to make the base of operations over here, as well as I wanted to uh, actually go to the edge of the world and just have a very long strip at the edge of the world, and uh, we're actually quite far from that, so I'm going to have to go forward quite a bit, and I actually did do a little bit of mining right there for a sec, but I decided to not. So we're going to keep going this way for a while. We've just struck redstone, which is pretty cool. Pretty good find there. Uh, there's going to be more above it. And lapis as well. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see if we could find uh, some diamonds. And that would make it all the better. All the better. All right, no diamonds. And uh, we won't find any, most likely, until later. But, you know, layer 12 is great for, for diamonds on the Xbox. So maybe we'll find some. Uh, all right, we're going to go all the way like this to the end of the world. I'm going to time lapse that as well. It's just a little progress update, and let's go. Alright, we are back, and as you can see, we got to the end of the world. Yes, finally. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go two blocks in, and the reason being is so you can place a torch on the edge, because you can't place anything on the end of the wall. So, we're going to go this way for a while, and uh, as you can see in that time lapse, I had to make new tools to get this far. We still haven't found any diamonds, sadly. But we're going to be going like this for quite some time. But we're not going to do that in this episode. We're going to be doing that in a separate episode. Separate. Separate episode. So, what I'm going to do real quick is create a tiny little base of operations. 
and then we're gonna go up because now we got some cobblestone we're gonna finish the house and we're gonna probably after that we'll explore the plains biome that I said I would explore and that'll be about it you also might have seen that I got a golden helmet and a bow from a skeleton a golden helmet from a zombie and yeah I was feeling pretty lucky after that I felt like you know I, I was like wow that's one uh, or a zombie decided to challenge me he had full golden armor I got lucky enough to uh, actually get it get a piece of it may it be the helmet I don't care anyway we're gonna be going all the way back and I will actually see you when I'm there because it's quite a trick all right as you can see we just got back to the house and we're gonna remove some of these and put our own cobble there of course it starts raining but since I lower the volume of the game it won't matter haha <laughs> rain I one up do it's really loud in my ears though could probably even come out on the commentary holy crap sounds just like a fuzzy static TV from the 90s if anybody ever remembers those <laughs> I definitely do oh my gosh do I so you used to have this really loud TV that as you would go and try to turn up or change the channel it would turn up the volume as well and it would get very irritating because we were back in my day you had to go to channel 3 to put what or go to your gaming channel I guess that that's what you know that channel was for I don't know why you had to go to channel 3 to do it but that was my era and that actually led to a lot of loud noises cause ours you'd have to go all the way down to channel 3 and it would increase the volume every single channel and usually it was on channel 47 because it would automatically go to 47 as well it was a crap TV but we, we had to sit there with the loud noise and it was annoying it was really annoying but eh we don't have to do it anymore <laughs> now we got these nice TVs nowadays back in my day we had these crap TVs we used to call them crap V's and we used to go all about town with those things knowing what we used to do left and right no I'm kidding alright we got ourselves some blocks of coal some blocks of everything pretty much we, we got some more iron ore we got 30 some out of it 38 and uh, we're gonna put the rest of the coal in there as well just because I wanna alright so I don't know if I should make this a three-story house or a two-story house I am leaning towards a two-story the basement and the main floor but who knows I will figure it out <laughs> that zombie yeah so what I'm gonna have to do for this since obviously hey what are you doing in there now I have to come and kill you stupid skeletons always messing everything up gosh oh no your drops I want your drops I want your arrows those are good I wish you had bones that's what I need more to start my farm but I think I've already got enough to suffice or suffice yeah I got plenty of cobble too I could I could definitely make my house now uh, but the sad thing is we're not gonna be doing that in this episode <laughs> yup all that not even to do it in this episode we're gonna be doing it in the next episode what we're gonna be doing in this episode furthermore is we're gonna actually be going and exploring the plains biome which of course won't take much time so let's get on with that right now we'll uh, we'll, we'll throw uh, this this gold ore right here yeah let's get going um, we're actually gonna save it before we go I also saved it during the time lapse and uh, I saved it because sometimes my game likes to just randomly crash or freeze and don't know what causes it don't know if anybody else gets that issue but it happens to me so I it's probably because I play in my really large worlds that are crazy big and have so much stuff in them but either way I save it often so that way that doesn't happen well it'll still happen but it it just won't affect me uh oh could we find a charged creeper in this episode do you think guys that we could find a charged creeper 
Leave in the comments below right now. Well, actually, if we found a Charged Creeper, I would name the episode Charged Creeper. So, yeah. Let's, let's hope we don't find one because... Oh, this scared me. Because they are so beast. Oh, I thought it was a plains biome over here. It is. Look at that. Nice little plains biome right here. You know, not too big. Just want to see if there's like a ravine or a nice little cave to go under. Uh, doesn't really appear to be anything except for a skeleton about ready to start whamming me with his bow. So let's go and kill him real quick. And we'll come over here. We'll kill this guy too. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And I'm going to have to do it before I go down into this cave. But I'm going to go down a little bit. See if there's any good items. Yeah, it keeps going down, so we'll come back here. We will indeed come back here. We won't even grab the iron. I know that's going to bother a couple people, but I'm just going to go quickly use some wood that I have in my house and make ourselves a little corral for our mushrooms that we forgot to grab. Yes, I still remember now. I forgot earlier, but I remember it now, and I'm going to go get them right now. So, let's do that real quick. Uh, hopefully we can, right off the bat, find about two mushrooms to, uh, make our mushroom farm so we can start breeding those animals and I will have unlimited food I will never have to worry about food unless I'm away from home and that is why I still need to breed them holy ball sacks oh my cheesy grease let's get out of here that way I can stuff meat anyway that's what I was gonna say before I was rudely interrupted by one of my own kind alright let's Let's, uh, let's let's go. Let's go. I don't want to find another creeper. I don't want to find a charged creeper. Oh god, there's one on my house. It's on my roof! He's been waiting for me to come back. Oh my gosh. Hello? Hi, Mr. Creeper! Ah, get off my house! Wait, then he's just gonna come to my front door. Oh, no he's not! He's right there! Don't blow up, please don't blow up! Oh, thank god. Oh my gosh. So much stuff right now. Wait. Have you guys ever seen that? That's a weird anomaly. No! Come on! Why is it went ahead of me raining? Get out of here! This is my house! Mine! Alright. What was I gonna do? Oh, I remember. I was going to get a mushroom. I keep forgetting. Alright. Let's grab 35 wheat will be good. I mean, I don't think they're really that hungry right now. We'll save it before we go over there, too. I like to save it before going and exploring new places or going to different places because that is the most prominent time for it to crash or freeze. And yes, I have had it freeze. I had it so bad. My world was so big and, and you know, I had so much stuff removed in my world that it would crash and freeze not just my game but everybody in the game would freeze when I died so I literally couldn't accept a death if I wanted to if I wanted to accept a death it wouldn't let me the game physically wouldn't let me die it would not let me uh, for some reason but good thing it you know finally fixed itself when they updated the game it decided to stop doing that. Uh, let's get some mushrooms here. We'll get this one first. Um, I, wait. Mushroom. What? Come on, Mushi. Don't die, Mushi. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there's one. I actually didn't make the corral yet, which is stupid of me. I'll just have to make it when I get back. There's one. Okay, there's a second one over here I remember seeing. No? Huh, I guess it's just one. One better than none. Come on, Mr. Strawberry Cow. Let's go. They need to fix that bug where you have to switch back from wheat or from wheat to something else and then back to wheat. Weird, weird bug. I don't know why those originate, but. You know, I could have just grabbed a lead. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't have. I don't have a slime ball. But I could have, in theory, if I had the right materials. But it looks like this is the only mushroom. 
I mean, I don't see any others. I don't know if you guys saw any others, but I don't know. I just don't know. I like how this is like perfect stairs for me to go down. The world must have known that I was going to be doing this. I think that's the only mushroom, guys. I really do. Come on, sir. Ma'am. Hey. Ma'am. 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 What are you doing, ma'am? Hey. Miss. Hey. Would you backstop me? Come here. Hey. Hey. You rebellion little sentient mushroom. Hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. Let's go. The heck. Make you look like I have to pay you. Shoot. Come on. Get over here. This is when another mushroom spawns over there and I have to go back over there. Come on, ma'am. I can offer food, protection, and everything because I am legend. No, I'm kidding. That's a uh, reference to the I Am Legend movie. Um, I can I can provide food. I can provide shelter. I can provide protection. That, yeah, that is what it is referencing. So we will quickly come over here. We will get him all set up, and boom! Oh, too late now, Mr. Cow. No. Don't you dare jump up on there. Don't you dare. No, 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 Oh boy, oh boy, okay, that's another thing off the list. Uh, what else was I going to be doing? Probably, okay, I started a mine shaft. I got my cobble. I think I've done pretty much everything, other than exploring that cave, which I probably will do, just because I want to have enough, make this an actual episode. I don't want to, like, cut it short or anything. I have a long episode. Alright, I'll throw everything in the chests. I will grab myself some mushroom stew. Probably not. But we're going to get going. We're going to go over there and we are going to forcefully take what we want. We'll get that. Make some more torches. How many times has it told me I don't have the correct items to make that? I mean, like, obviously not. I would have made it already, you flibber flab. I, I, honestly, honestly. Alright. Nine blocks of iron already. Yeah, we're really really getting some iron. Oh, let's get some sleep. Uh we need a block to go up to our bed. Yeah, we're that now you know what? I'm gonna take it down right now. Of course. Alright, give me my bed. What's uh the king's throne right here? That's about good. <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought a piece of dirt went down there. All right, I'm going to create my roof real quick, actually, in this episode. No, actually, I'll save that for next episode. Let's go down into the cave, and uh, we'll come back. Let's not grab some mushrooms, dude. We'll grab that later. We don't even need to grab any mushrooms or anything. Um, if we find, like, brown mushrooms, I'll grab those. Uh, because if I find some red mushrooms, which do actually spawn in caves, but are more rare... I will be able to make some mushroom stew. So we got lots of ocelots. Wow, this is a good jungle for ocelots. They could see it all, you know, overall. So you know, you get one village, no blacksmith, sadly. Well, we actually don't know that yet because we've only actually explored half of the world. You know, we don't know what could be in the other half. They could be filled with seven villages for all we know. So you know, who knows? Maybe we're we're really lucky. But we're gonna go down in this cave and we're gonna go mining. I brought a healthy supply of wood. Uh, that's all the wood I brought. I, I brought a crafting bench just in case. I can always junk it if I don't want it. Um, so I need to get a name tag. So hopefully I can find a, uh, a dungeon down here. But who knows? Um, if I I'm gonna be going down there and I'm gonna commentate the entire thing. 
If I don't really find much, then of course you will have, if I find lots of minerals, then I'll keep it in it. But if I find like barely anything, I'll keep it out. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I'll probably keep it all in for the heck of it. Cause I do want to have enough footage to make this a good episode, a long episode. Um, I, I like to have my episodes around 30 minutes. I mean, at first I wanted them at 20, but I feel like, you know, 20 is a good amount. But, I, I don't know, I, I just like having longer episodes. I don't know, that's just me. Just something weird. It's really weird all the time. Okay, well we found the edge of this cave already. Okay. Uh, There's not a really good cave, so far. Let's see the other side though. You never know, that I've gone down caves that have seven paths, and only one of them led to a good path. And it was the one that looked like it didn't. It looked, out of all of them, it looked like it led to nothing. And you never know. Because this, I could turn this corner, and, well, of course, this time I got screwed, but I could have turned that corner and there could have been six other paths down that way. You never know. So it's a good thing to explore all the caves. All of them. Good thing this is a small cave, though, I guess. I don't know. We still don't know that yet. Because I always remove the gravel, believe it or not. Um, this will probably lead to nothing, but you never know with the gravel, because I one time had gravel in my world, removed it. It led to not just a cave, but to a cave with three dungeons in it. Like a tri-dungeon, not not just, you know, like a dungeon there, a dungeon there, a dungeon there. It was a tri-dungeon. Those are so rare. I had the best mob spawner. And uh, of course this was on the computer. And it was on a server, which they eventually refreshed the world. And then they shut down. So I'm never going to have that again. And that is why I don't create good things on servers anymore, unless it's a server I know I can trust. Like, uh, if I ever, you know, was able to actually get onto, like, Hermitcraft or something, I, could, I trust that server, and I would make big things. But, I don't know, I, I just, I wasted so much time, pretty much, because I made such a nice thing. Everybody knew where my world, or my house was, everybody came over, everybody used my mob spawners. Because they were that good. They were wonderful spawners. And it's gone. <laughs> Even the seed. Nobody knows the seed either. But. Oh well. And nothing over here either. Huh. Well this is not a good tunnel. I thought it would have been. So what we'll do. Is we'll go back up. And we'll explore the world just a little bit more. And. In fact. We're going to actually do that right now. I was going to say in the next episode, but I decided to do it right now. So let's go do that real quick. Um, was there any other entrances to caves over here? No, nope, but there was more iron, which I'll gladly take with open arms. Okay. That was a good little tunnel, I guess. I mean, it was good for a couple minerals and such, but it wasn't a great mining tunnel per se. But I see another tunnel, and it is full of crap. Alright, that's not good. Nothing good over there. Oh, I see another cave, but I bet you it's nothing. Wow, what a wonderful cave that was. Okay, nothing else? Nothing else? No? No? I don't think so. We're gonna go... I don't like forests. I really don't like forests. And we're gonna go... I don't know. Let's just go find a cave. That cave. I picked a cave out. I really want to find a dungeon in this episode, but, uh, who knows? Who knows if I will? Ooh, wow, another good cave. Look at that. This world's just full of good caves with wanted dreams. Or crushed dreams. Oh, a dog. We don't have any bones, though. You look like a punky. Oh, punky. I don't know where that's from. Ah, my news. Alright, well, it doesn't look like we're going to be finding anything in this episode. So, we're going to kill this cow. Because I hate cows. Everybody does. No, I'm kidding. I need more meat and leather for our books. So, we'll kill this pig as well for the meat. That's about all we can do. Because there's no caves. If I found a cave, I'd go down it right now. But it doesn't really look like we're going to be finding any caves soon. Ooh. I spoke too early, or too late, I'm kidding, but that's it for this episode guys, I will see you in the next video, 
please like, comment, whatever, and subscribe. Because I don't think you can rate videos anymore. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. And alright, goodbye.